Hello everybody. I hope you guys are doing very well. Greetings to all of you again in my lecture. It is the continuation of my previous lecture on trigonometry. So if you guys haven't gone through my earlier videos, I would recommend please go through that once so that uh, the present lecture will be easier for you to understand. Yeah. Okay. Now the present lecture is divided into several sections. Okay. In the first sections, we are going to talk how to find the missing angle of a right angle triangle. So, if you remember, in our last lecture, we have learned that the first important step is to label the sides either opposite or adjacent and hypotenuse. So, we will follow the same technique here. And in this case, we know since our angle B is the right angle and opposite to the right angle is always the hypotenuse. So AC is our hypotenuse. Okay. And uh, we have the angle phi here with respect to phi, the opposite side is AB. Yeah. So AB is opposite with respect to phi and the side which is left over BC the next door is adjacent. Okay. I hope this part is clear. So now let me rewrite the Sokatoa formula. We know in this case sin phi we know so ka toa. So sin phi this is opposite over hypotenuse. So we have opposite over hypotenuse. We know cosine phi. It is adjacent over hypotenuse. And we have tangent of phi. Which is opposite over adjacent. Now if we clearly observe the piece of data we have in our hand right now. We know opposite we know adjacent yeah so looking after the formula here if can we go through sin phi in sin phi we need to know opposite and hypotenuse but hypotenuse is not available in this case similarly we have for cosine phi adjacent and hypotenuse because of unavailability of hypotenuse we cannot apply this formula okay yeah but we know opposite and adjacent both. Therefore, we can apply tangent phi because tangent phi is opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we are going to apply the tangent phi. So tangent of phi, our opposite is 5 and our adjacent is 12. So you obtain tangent of phi, this equals 5 by 12. Okay. Now we have to find the angle phi yeah? and in this case we need to apply inverse tangent formula okay? or in your scientific calculator you need shift tan mode. Okay? Let me show you this. So we have 5 over 12 and we need to use shift tan. So you obtain tan inverse of 5 over 12 equals 22.6198. So we will not write the entire number whatever we have. We will do approximations and the approximate value rounded up up to two digit. It will be 22.62. Yeah, because this one is 98. So we obtain this approximate 22.62 degree. Yeah, okay. So in this case, we have our angle up here, the mystery angle and uh, our angle B is the right angle and we have got two of the sides. So let's label them as uh, the opposites of the ang right angle is always hypotenuse and uh, we have this sides the angle phi is playing outwards to this sides 
going down here this line so this uh, bc of length 11 should be the opposite with respect to phi yeah and uh, the site next door ab is our adjacent but uh, we do not have to worry about this site now because we do not have any information the piece of information we have right now in hand is only about the opposite side AB with respect to phi and the hypotenuse H. Yeah. So this is a piece of information and let me write the formula. We know our so ka toa. So by carefully looking, if we see that uh, we have we since we do not have the adjacent therefore we cannot apply this to yeah so our dealing in this case is with this one so we have a sine of phi equals opposite over hypotenuse and uh, substituting the value we obtain 11 by 17 yeah this implies our sine phi equals 11 over 17 now how do you work of phi yeah we have got sine phi equals this value this implies phi equals inverse sine function of 11 over 17 and we have seen that this function which looks like uh, a negative index of sign uh, which is which might be the second function in your calculator or el or else you need to probably press shift sign to get this little figure sign uh, as uh, i have shown you in a in my last slides so likewise we obtain from the calculator the value approximately 40.32 degree now i want to talk with you about an angle of elevation and angle of depression okay so whenever we mention the terminology of angle of elevation it is something like looking up okay on the other hand angle of depression It is related with the terms of looking down. So, for example, suppose you are standing here on the ground level at position A, looking up your friends who is staying here at this position B, then the angle which is formed here is called the angle of elevation. On the other hand, the angle of depression is like this. Suppose your friend now staying here at this altitude looking down towards you then the angle which is created here is called angle of depression yeah one important thing to mention in this context that up and down is a relative terms with respect to something there is no such thing as up or down in an absolute sense having said that imagine right now you are standing up here pointed up you would be pointing up from the ground but if someone on the opposite side of the world was pointing up, they would be pointing in exactly the opposite direction as you, so up, so she is down, yeah? So these are always relative to something, okay? Now we are going to focus on solving what problems, typically angle of elevation and depression what problems. Let's start with this one. An archaeologist measures the angle of elevation between the ground and the castle 1150 feet away to be 67 degrees. How tall is the castle? Let's say the height of the archaeologist is irrelevant to the height of the castle. So let's say the archaeologist is somewhere over here. And uh, here is the ground. And this one is the castle. If you are leveling the triangle as A, B, C. So 
so here the problems typically you need to draw by triangle 67 would represent the angle of elevation because the archaeologist is looking up towards the castle now the castle is 1150 feet away from the archaeologist now we have 67 degree and opposite to this angle is our opposite side this one is our opposite side and bc is our adjacent side since angle b is right angle therefore opposite to the right angle is always hypotenuse yeah now in this case if we closely observe the piece of information we have in hand right now we know bc which is 1150 feet and we have to determine a b so let's say a b equals x therefore we know opposite we know opposite we know adjacent but we do not have any information regarding hypotenuse yeah see the formula of sokatoa since we do not have any information about hypotenuse so none of these equations can be used so we are going to use tangent yeah therefore tangent of 67 applying the formula we obtain this equals opposite over adjacent in this case our opposite is x and we know about our adjacent is 1150 multiplying both side with 1150 this thing will get cancelled out yeah therefore we obtain our x equals 1150 times of tangent of 67 yeah now as we have seen in our earlier lecture the computation process of tangent in calculator so you need to be in degree mode therefore 1150 times of tangent of 67 we obtain approximately the height of the castle is 2709.23 feet now let's take another problem calculate the angle of elevation measured from a point on the ground to a 150 feet building that is 70 feet away from the building so as we see just now that for all of these problems typically we are going to draw some sort of right angle triangle yeah so let's first label the triangle a b c now we assume that a is the point at which we are going to measure the angle of elevation say phi and uh, so this is going to be the and bc and bc is going to be the building which the height of the building we know it to be 150 feet and it is 75 feet away from the building that is a point of interest uh, so if you are given the height and the distance how can we calculate the angle of elevation yeah what would you do to figure this out so again we need to use uh, the sokatoa formula and we need to verify which one is working in this case yeah so from sokatoa since ab is the opposite of the right angle and this is the hypotenuse and we do not have this so we cannot use this one yeah so this one this one we cannot use so only toa tangent is remain because we know both the opposite bc is our opposite with respect to phi and ac is our adjacent so we know opposite at an adjacent therefore only tangent of phi is helpful in this case 
so we have opposite is 150 feet adjacent is 75 feet so this will get cancel out and it remains 2 so you obtain tangent of phi equals to now from here we need we know how to calculate phi yeah it is inverse tangent function of 2 now as you whack this in your calculator we obtain tan inverse you need shift 10 to calculate this so you obtain this equals 63 point approximately 63.435 degree one important thing i need to mention here that whenever you are looking for an angle to measure uh, in in that case you need to take inverse trigonometric function yeah either inverse tangent function or inverse sine function or inverse cosine function depending the depending upon the piece of information you have in hand or in other words on what two sides of the triangle you have from the problem you are getting yeah 